One of the biggest problems you'll have in WordPress is that after a while, WordPress slows down for some reason. A lot of times it's not easy to tell why this happens, and it can be tough to figure out the root cause of it. Here's what I'm doing to make sure that my WordPress site remains fast, and uh, so I know exactly what's going on with my plugins. Uh, this is what I'm going to do. I went to the plugin search, and I typed in slow plugin. Because most of the time in WordPress, the problem is a slow plugin. Or many slow plugins altogether having a, a party. And it'll slow your site down so much. And sometimes, as in the case of one of my websites, it will crash it, which is not good. So if you go to the plugin search, plugin add new on the sidebar here, you should have plugins if you're an administrator of the site. Click add new. And do what I did, type in slow plugin. You probably don't want to put the bracket in the middle of plugin because that's not valid spelling in most languages. And then the plugin that I'm using is P3, Plugin Performance Profiler. Say that five times fast. Now, P3 is a plugin that tells you what's wrong with your plugins. I know it's kind of ironic, but we're going to show you how that works right now. Uh, if you go to your tools, menu on the side here and then go down to p3 plugin profiler which is even more p's you will get a, a page that looks like this and what it says is click start scan to run a performance scan of your website now i have 12 plugins that's not a lot uh, however you can have a lot more than that so uh, what you do is you just click start scan right here and then it's going to name the scan for you and just say auto scan. Now I don't have a lot of uh, content or anything on this website, so this is probably going to go pretty fast. This could take a little while, um, you know, 20 or 30 minutes, depending on uh, what kind of plugins and what kind of content you have. Because as you can see in the background there, it's going through um, the pages of your site. It's actually just going through a couple of posts and stuff. It's trying to see what's going on with your plugins, and it's trying to run them and then see what kind of uh, memory that your plugins take up and things like that. So it's kind of getting a good snapshot of everything going on on your site. And so that can take a while if you've got a lot of posts and pages and a lot of stuff on there. So it's going through the admin section here. Okay, now it's done. My site's, like I said, doesn't have a lot on it. So yours might take a lot longer, but let's go view results. And it will refresh and come back with this. So now we can see that my 12 plugins Plugin load time, it's adding 0.4 seconds to every page load that I have. Now, that's not terrible. That's not terrible at all. That's, that's okay. Plugin impact, 80% of load time. Sounds a little worse when you think of it that way. So, if my page loads in a second, you know, a bunch of that, it looks like it loads in less than a second, but a bunch of that time is taken up by plugins loading. And there's 83 MySQL queries. The really interesting thing, though, is this, this pie chart right down here. If you look, this is Jetpack by WordPress. You can see that it kind of puts it under the mouse there. But you can see that's, what, 60% of the load? And then you can see uh, the different ones here, WordPress SEO. Down here, it also says, if you look, it says, some plugins may show artificially high results. You can go read more about that. And so some these two plugins, also Jetpack here, as you can see, uh, may be reporting incorrectly. So maybe you want to look at these other things. But really, 0.4 is not terrible. Uh, let's go to my main Overthink website that you've probably been to if you're watching this video, or maybe you will be in the future. I hope, I hope. Now, as you can see right now, I have a memory size problem on this site. And why that is, is a lot, it's probably due to plugins. So I'm going to refresh again. It seems like every few page loads, it, it doesn't want to load. So uh, let's go to plugins, add new. I'll do this so you can see how this works. I have a lot more plugins on this site. So let's go type in again, slow plugin, and see if it will load. Hey, it will. Okay, install now on the P3. It's the first one. There's 90,000 active installs. It has four and a half stars. It's always good when you're looking for plugins to make sure that it has good stats. And we're going to install it here. All right, that installed. Okay, as you can see, I have a bunch more plugins. So let's again go to Tools and go to P3 Plugin Profiler. And, okay, I have 18 plugins. I guess that's not tons more than 12, but still. Uh, I think there's some bigger plugins too. We'll see. Let's go Start Scan, Auto Scan. I have a lot more content on this site. 
and we we will let that run. I wonder if it'll take a long time or if it'll be fairly short as well. Okay, so it's loading a bunch of different pages and posts that I've written in there. It's loading ads, it's loading all that stuff, trying to see if what I'm doing on this site is working as far as memory wise and if it's crashing based on plugins or not. So that's what I want to find out here. A lot of sites have this problem where plugins will crash the site because there's so many of them. Um, what you can do, if you have to use a, a lot of plugins for things, what you can do is actually uh, go lightweight on it. Uh, you know, do like diet plugins. And what that means is uh, you can go to like, for example, if you use Aweber or MailChimp or one of those things, there's plugins for those email services and there's plugins for just about every service out there. Now, what you can do instead of using those plugins, if you don't want to bog down your site so bad, is you can just get the embed code that they give you. So they say like, you know, other site instead of a WordPress site, they'll say, hey, get the code for a site like other site or or just get the embed. And you can put that code right in your pages without actually having to use the plugin. And believe me, it will help a ton because then you're relying on their servers to download that code and, and you know put the JavaScript in your page instead of relying on WordPress itself and trying to overtax PHP on your server to get that to work. So let's go click view results here and see what happened. So out of 18 plugins, let's see it refresh here. Ooh, one second per visit. So over a second is being taken up every time somebody loads the page and 86% of the impact of the page load time is the plugin impact. 97 MySQL queries, which is nuts. So let's go see what we've got here. The, the worst one seems to be Akismet, which is uh, the you know anti-spam thing that I've got on here. Let's see, uh, I've got CRAN Syntax Highlighter. I've got Jetpack by WordPress, which may not be accurate. WordPress SEO, which may not be accurate. So you can see um, WP Touch mobile plugin. Anyway, it looks like my site's not terrible. Um, it looks like this is written by GoDaddy. That's interesting. Uh, so we have Google Analytics for WordPress. You know, I don't even think I use that. So let's get rid of that. Let's go take that plugin out because I have Google Analytics set up already anyway on here. I don't need the plugin to tell me things. I can just go to Google Analytics, the website, and use it that way. All right, did we crash? Yeah, I think the website crashed again. Something's going on to where it's, you know, just crashing all the time. So let's see, Google Analytics, don't need that. Deactivate. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, let's deactivate Akismet real quick. I know, blasphemy, but still. Uh, so we're gonna go to Plugin Profiler again. All right, 16 plugins. You can see it, it removed those two. Let's scan it again. And it'll, it'll put a different date and time on there for you. And auto scan. You can also manually scan, which I haven't done yet, but auto scan seems to work fine. So I don't see any reason not to have it do it for me because I'm lazy. And let's see what it does here. It's going through all my posts and pages and crazy videos and crazy photos I put up there all that content woohoo so anyway yeah it's gonna do this again so yeah what i was saying before uh when we had time to kill was you can just use the code from the website instead of using the plugin and that a lot of times will save you on uh how much it takes to load your website now we're talking about page load we're talking about the visitors that come to your site how long it takes to load the pages for them. It's not necessarily talking about like the back end as much, like how long it takes to load the admin interface, but it, you know, plugins can have an effect on that too, because it still has to load them in the back end so that you can use them as well. So either way, it can be a load on your server and on your WordPress site. Okay, is it almost done? Here we go, view results. All right, so now that we got rid of the worst offender, Akismet, let's see what the deal is. All right, CRAN syntax highlighter, Jetpack may not be accurate. Let's see, WordPress SEO, WP Touch, uh, GP Premium, which is my theme. 
theme security content. Okay, so point six, we got rid of point four by getting rid of some plugins that I'm just plain not using. So you can see how that's really effective and how that can help your website um, get better. Let's look at some of the other stats here. Detailed breakdown. So you can see how long it takes to load. You can see the worst defender just right there. That's WP core time, apparently. So that's just WP core loading. The site loads is up here. Uh, one second's not terrible. Let's see, simple timeline. Okay, so you can see how it kind of ramps up at the end there. Detailed timeline, all kinds of stuff. I don't really care. Query timeline. Okay, so if you look at kind of the end, looks like towards the end it loads. That's probably all the JavaScript stuff. Let's see. Advanced metrics. Hey, that's kind of cool. Memory usage, 70, 70 meg. Um, so you can kind of see just what, how long everything takes to load and, you know, what exactly is loading slow. So that can help you kind of make some decisions on what plugins to run, which ones to leave out. Uh, and I would kind of choose to go for either a bigger server that can handle it better or, you know, trying not to use those plugins if you can and trying to uh, use kind of the external resources that you have, uh, like MailChimp, you could use their code in your page instead of their plugin. That might be a lot better uh, in a lot of cases to do that so that it doesn't bog down your site. Anyway, uh, that this is the first step that I've tried in, uh, you know, diagnosing what's wrong with your WordPress site and why it might be taking so long to load all these things. Uh, because, you know, your site can always get better and it can be hard to find out what's going on. So anyway, if plugins is your problem or you suspect that it might be, which it could be in a lot of cases, I would try out this plugin. Uh, let's go look at it again. What's the name of it? I know it's right there, but I wanted to see it in the... Oh, we crashed again. See, I'm having issues here. And I've been doing WordPress for a long time. I'm a pro developer. This isn't, um, this isn't just newbies that have problems with WordPress. Everybody does. Slow, I'll oh, slow plug in. That's what I should have done. Except on add new, maybe. There we go. Okay, slow plug in again. There we go. Okay, so P3, that's what it looks like. You can tell it's good. It's been updated three weeks ago. Uh, it says untested with your version, but it works fine. 90,000 active installs, which is good to know. Uh, and it has four and a half stars, 184 reviews. You can tell that's a pretty decent, and it's by GoDaddy. I mean, everybody's heard of GoDaddy. So that's a really decent uh, plugin to use for your site. And uh, yeah, so anyway, give that a try. I don't see a lot of other ones that look good in here. That plugin speed test doesn't look great. Like there's zero stars, 50 active installs. It might be good, but who knows? Yeah, so anyway... Um, that's one way you can tell how slow your plugins are and, uh, hope that helps. Let me know. Thanks.